Good morning and welcome to day 12 of the North Cape trip. As you can see, or maybe you can't, but I will tell you, the, it's, uh, it's raining. Uh, I woke up at 7 a.m. in the morning and then I heard some, you know, raindrops uh, on the tent. I was like, no, 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 no. And so we, sh we moved everything into the small cabin and then packed everything and just left camp about like five minutes ago. We had no food, nothing, nothing to eat, nothing to drink. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a disaster. Normally rain was forecasted for tomorrow and not today and yeah now we need to go on this magnificent road eight more kilometers and to 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 something better to to more main road and yeah oh man 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 it's a disaster so after and especially at the camp there was no internet so I couldn't even look for a hotel or a place to stay or so on and there was no internet connection so yeah we just left I luckily I downloaded you know the all the maps um, to use them offline so I know which direction to go um, but yeah it's it's not nice it's not nice I can tell you that especially with the roads like this and rain and you need to pay attention while not being fat you know <laughs> and as well for my father I think he had a really rough night but he's not saying it so yeah it's, it's gonna be an interesting day you know we just first our objective is to find the main road Second is to find something to eat and drink. Uh, I, I, sp I saw a cafe, but the opening time was like 11 a.m. Uh, in the morning. So now we have 9 a.m. So it's two hours, but then we're not waiting there for two hours. <sighs> yeah. Um, I. And after we had cafe and so on, we hopefully have better internet to find a hotel. And then depending on how we feel. Um, you know, especially with the clothes being wet and so on, we will see how much further we push on. So we had no luck at all with this trip. Yesterday was kind of the exception, but that's about it, you know. Uh, that's about it. It's but the place yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. I hope you could see uh, could see it in the in the drone videos and yeah ay, ay, ay. I'm I'm sad I am so sad you know this was supposed to be the f a fun run and I have no idea why there's like garbage stuff like this hanging and like you know should it intimidate me or should it intimidate reindeers or uh, or other animals i have no idea it feels like very what was the movie westworld or something i don't know maybe it's westworld or blade runner or something i have no idea i'm not good with movie names uh but it feels like that you know um anyway I will push on a bit further and uh, keep you updated once we had something in our belly. Oh boy, man, man, man. Uh, but what can you do, right? What can you do? <sighs> As I said, I will update you once I have more information. Talk to you soon. Uh, hello, another update. We just got some uh, food kind of in our belly, so we didn't went to a cafe, we just went to the grocery store, bought some snacks and had something to drink and that's about it. Uh, due to the weather and the rough night we both had, and my father as well, and he doesn't want to admit it, but he had, uh, you can you can tell. 
um, I booked another hotel so yes it's a bit on a further side it's like five hours right 400 kilometers um, but you know the, the vacation is coming to an end so yeah that's that's why I'm pushing for more kilo kilometers as well and then we should be there at around 4 p.m. refueling up and everything and yeah then we grab something to eat take a shower grab something to eat uh, dry the clothes uh, yeah. yeah we just talked also to a local and he said like yeah weather weather has been absolutely miserable it's very cold summer so far very rainy summer um, they are not even used to it so and Jesus, he had me scared for a second. Holy moly. Um, so yeah, for them summer is when they have one good summer day, you know, it's like it's warm. That was summer for them. Sounds like Newcastle for me. <laughs> it was like this as well. Even though I had some good days. Anyway, that's it for this update. Um, yeah, we have nothing to see, a lot of forest what the locals said not, not not spectacular you know um, Norway is more beautiful in terms of scenery but we couldn't see it because of you know the rain so uh, Sweden lots of forest yeah that's that's it for this update talk to you later bye bye hello quick update so we are traveling for more than four hours now um, and we just did a short lunch break so yeah we are going to uh, we're currently on the e4 going to Sanswal uh, or well, however you pronounce it Sanswal uh, I think Sanswal is, is closer it's correct um, yeah so we went from from the e65 I think it was to the e4 to the main road down east east Sweden I think um, yeah, to Sunswell where we book, where I booked a hotel, um, so we can relax. The weather turned out to be absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> um, but I can't cancel the hotel. So without like um, without the full the full fee, and that's not what I want, you know. But. No, we have a pool, we have a jacuzzi, uh, we have a sauna at the hotel, so we, we, are, really, we, gonna, we are going to relax today, the Lourdes family, um, it's been a long day, and not enough food for sure, um, so we, we are going to relax today, and then tomorrow back to camping, hopefully, the weird thing is that I was freezing, you know, that it was, I don't know, 10, 12 degrees Celsius or something during the night. And my sleeping bag is comfort zone um, until uh, 0 degrees Celsius. Uh, but I wasn't feeling it. So probably the inflatable mattress is not up to the standard that I would like. It was not very expensive, so that would explain it. Um, but I wasn't willing to pay 200 euros for a new inflatable mattress because next year I have different plans um, so I, I want to keep and save some money. The tent is always useful you know when you go out and hike and, and camp maybe the tent is then a bit big uh, but I'll see about that you know there are plenty of uh, colleagues maybe want a bigger tent and we'll, we'll see um, but yeah continue onwards you know highway is boring as you know um, and I think the next update will be in Sanswell besides this nothing nothing happened you know it's just an ordinary boring day talk to you in the next update bye bye so we arrived in Sonswallen and now we are on the way to the hotel and the weather looks horrible uh, at least uh, back there so maybe it was the right call to do to go to a hotel uh, this is 
first time I see the police. And there's a beautiful old church in the back. So, I will end day 12 here. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.